So let's create an exploded axon. So I'm going to create a section boxed view. So let's go to the 3D view and I'm going to select the fireplace and the chimney and then go to add-ins auto section box. So this creates the view that I want to explode. Now I'm going to hide the scope box because it's going to get in the way. And I don't want this view to get lost, so I'm going to save it as a new view. So what I'm going to do, this is the view that it is right now, but I'm going to duplicate it. And then I'm going to rename this one exploded axon. Now that saves this as a view permanently. To explode this thing, what I'm going to do is take the various pieces of it and put it into a displacement set. So for example, I can click on that glass wall right there and then click displace elements and then I can move it out. And then I can click on the chimney and click on displace element and then move it up. And then I can click on the roof and move the roof up. And then I can click on these individual joists and I can say displace. It's going to force me to do them one by one, but you get the idea. But that's how you build an exploded axon. And then you can use the view cube over here to set it to a particular, you know, 45 degree axon view. Now, the other thing that you can do is add paths to things. So if I go here and I click on this and I say path, I can add lines. The idea is that you can click on that path, this right here, and it will draw lines between things. But the reason I'm having trouble with it is that it wants to show the paths at the corners of objects. So there, you can see it does it to the corner. But when you're cropping something, it doesn't always show it. So if you're doing an exploded axon like this, I recommend that you have things shown in their entirety. It'll do pieces of roofs and pieces of floors. But if you have a door like this, or if you have a chimney or anything like that, you probably want to show the entirety of those objects because the path lines only go to the corners of those objects. You cannot save section boxed views into other files. There is no way of saving views that contain three-dimensional objects from one file to another. Everything that you build in a Revit model is sort of contained within that Revit model. Now, there are ways of getting three-dimensional geometry from one file into another file, but that's a more complicated, more advanced level sort of discussion, and it involves groups and linked files and all kinds of much more complicated things which we don't have time to get into today. But as a general rule of thumb, there's no button that you can push that makes things go from one file to another. Black Spectacles is a home of online learning for architecture and design. With your Black Spectacles membership, you can watch the rest of this course and any of the thousands of video tutorials we've built to help you learn architecture software and to prepare for the architecture registration exam. Visit blackspectacles.com now to get started.